YouTube, how we doing? ¿Cómo estamos, chicos y chicas? Ojalá hemos estado bien. Saludos, como siempre, a Unión Hispana y sus alianzas o aliados en Reino 22. So, what I'm going to show you guys today is all thanks to the Rome vs. Realm win, um, all thanks to Royal Guards, all thanks to uh, Resistance, I believe, and of course us and the people that participated in the Realm vs. Realm 22 vs. 23 and 24 because I was able to collect around 45 to 50,000 gold on mines and with that being said I'm able to bring you guys this video and what this video is is if you saw my re recap my previous March of Empires video you will know that um, I was level 22 my castle was level 22 and I was nowhere near close to getting it to 23 but um, I'm going to show you guys a method that I use for farming. Now, I don't farm tiles because that's kind of boring and a little bit risky too. You never know who's going to go ahead and, and just decide they want to hit you. Um, so, what I do is I farm castles and I collect whatever whatever I get. If it's, if it's food, then fuck, I'll take a million food um, because of the methods that I use. There's three simple steps. And that's going to be shown in this video. As you guys can see, I think I'm already starting on the first step. And that is just collecting as much of any resource that you possibly can. Being whatever it is. Um, anything really helps. Of course, you want to also get good iron. All that good stuff. You've got to make sure you scout as well. Because you might get hit. and Or you might not scout. And they might have some troops. And you send team ones and they're all dead. So, uh, make sure you scout, be safe, and uh, yeah, I really hope you guys just enjoy this video. I'm going to just make a little quick co commentary about it, and then I'll let you guys just watch the rest of the video. I think it's going to be around 10 minutes long, and if, if you ask me, it's very, very, very helpful. Because, like I said, I went from level 22 castle to basically I'm pushing my level 25 I just need to put in a bit more time and this all took me around an hour to an hour and a half to complete so pretty quick but as well like i said without gold this would not be possible only because i have gold am i able to do this and you know produce or go ahead and build automatically with the gold so just getting the resources is the fun part and the most important part so like you guys can see here i'm just going ahead and just attacking for anything um, whatever I can get because further on in the video um, the second step is going ahead and trading your food for silver you're trading your food for any resource but mainly it's always silver for some reason even if it's negative go ahead and do it you, you have a ton of food um, you end up usually always collecting more food than any other, any other resource so what you end up having is like maybe let's say 30 million food 5 million wood 5 million stone 5 million iron 5 million silver so you go ahead and you convert 20 million food and you roughly might get around 15 to 17 million silver that's that's the second step and it's the step that i believe takes the longest because you have to find the trading posts to go ahead that will accept your food because not anyone just goes ahead and takes food um, and if they do sometimes it's like for a loss of 30 something percent 20 something percent so if it's if it's any lower than 10 percent or any around five percent negative or a loss i take the silver either way like i said 
my troops are going to be eating up the food anyway, so might as well just bump it out. But just remember, don't waste all your food because you will be needing it to um, build. You'll be needing some food to build. Uh, let's see if I've gotten to this step yet. No, I don't believe I have. So that's the second step. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys the third step. You guys can watch the video on how I do it. But the third step is somewhat faster than the second step because from there you just have to find silver to any resource and most people most training posts want silver so it's not a bad thing silver to silver to wood silver to stone silver to iron and just trade just trade 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 for whatever you might need for your next build if it's castle for me i was just stocking i was like fuck like I'm gonna try to build as much a quick build with gold as much as I possibly can so I just went above and beyond um, in the video it might look a little weird because like there's parts that I'm not showing that I did after so it's it's you know it's like the way I'm editing so hopefully it's kind of semi clear for you guys but it does help you guys out um, with that being said with that being said, I'm not sure if to start, I'm bilingual, so I'm not sure if to give a presentation or explain in Spanish for the next two minutes, but, um, what am I doing here right now? What am I trading for? Yeah, there we go. We're trading food for silver still, or no, not still. This is the second phase. So we finished attacking castles and now we're just trading food for silver, finding it wherever you can. Sometimes it takes a while because it's like a long march. So, like I said, it's the longest process. Then right after that, silver to anything you need. Don't do silver to food. Please, don't do silver to food. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, my goal is to hit level 30 castle as fast as I can to the next realm versus realm. So, I can bring you guys some action and I can bring you guys along the realm versus realms since Rome 22 has been doing great so shout out to all of you guys once again um that's pretty much it uh, if you like this video please or if you enjoyed this video please leave a like um it does help me grow it does help me get more views uh it's it's like a little boost what a like does is it if someone searches march of empires and my video has like 20 likes my video might be one of the suggestions so a like definitely helps me out as well we're representing realm 22 we're rep representing uh, game loft uh, i'm not sponsored by them but i might have to hit them up maybe they help me get to level 30 and then from there we just take it and we just make some series and some fun videos out of it so like i said as soon as i start getting uh, stronger and stronger i'll be uploading more videos and all that good stuff so i i hope you guys enjoyed this video very much if you do leave a like leave something in the comments below and like always have a blessed day we'll see you guys next time Ay, Dios. Bueno, see the way i said i'm gonna do it voy a hablar en español por un corto de tiempo no tanto como hablé en inglés pero estas son tres formas o tres pasos que uso yo para conseguir material lo más pronto posible que sea um, primer paso ataco a un montón de castillos inactivos sea lo que sea si recojo mucho mucha comida va es eso no me no importa porque de hecho recogiendo comida nos beneficia porque al segundo paso lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a cambiar um, en los puestos comida por plata y no importa si pierdes como un 2, 3%, 5% y a veces un 10% porque vas a tener mucha comida. Eh, comida es algo que recoges más atacando castillos inactivos. Y bueno, sí, uh, trata de recoger lo más, la más o cambiar lo más posible de comida para plata. Y acuérdense de no acabarse toda la comida porque se van a dar subiendo niveles o como se dice subiendo puestos en tu en tu castillo um, vas a necesitar comida también entonces 
no se acaben toda su comida y acuerden, esto solo es posible, se puede hacer mucho mejor si tienes mucho ahorro ahorra, ahorrado para que um, niveles más rápido y en vez de esperar el tiempo uses tu oro, ya teniendo la materia va a ser bastante más rápido. Ese es el segundo paso, comida por plata, o si solo buscas tener mucha plata por cualquier razón que quieras tener plata, comida por plata. En tercer pa um, fase va a ser toda tu plata o bastante de tu plata por la materia que ocupes, sea madera, sea hierro, creo que es hierro, ¿no? Iron, hierro o piedra. Entonces de allí ya tendrás un nivel más o menos parejo de todas tus materias uh, y de allí podrás empezar a nivelar lo que quieras, sea tus muros, sea tu castillo, sea, sea lo que sea. Entonces ojalá les haya ayudado este video. Si sí si les ayudó, por favor dejen un like. Saludos a todos ustedes en Unión Hispana otra vez como siempre y Acuerden, un like me ayuda mucho, comentario, um, nos vemos hasta la próxima, cuídense mucho.